Yeah, Shalom. This is Tazayar Basha. I'm on my lot. Wanna say call the law Allah, Yahuwah, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Waha Kadash Rakar, Rakata, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to the hopeful late, the Aki and the brethren, the confusion of faces also that's pushing his word of truth and sincerity. You know what I'm saying? That's hastening for the day of the Lord. With that, I wanna say Shalom. And once again, this is uh, volume 12 of spiritual motivation. You know, the point of spiritual motivation is uplift, brothers. You know what I'm saying? Through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim You know what I'm saying? Through his word. You know what I'm saying? And uh, pretty much uh, this this lesson is going to be about overcoming the world. You know what I'm saying? You have to um, be asked for spiritual things. You have to be more spiritual and less carnal. Pretty much uh, building up the inward man instead of the outward man. You know, because this world is against us, man. Everything of the world is here to destroy us, man, basically, man. You know what I'm saying? So, through the spirit of the whole Bashim I want to get, you know what I'm saying, a couple of scriptures, man, and just go in and flow through the spirit. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, uh, you know, I'm just going to jump come straight into it. <clears throat> this, um, this Micah chapter 2, verse 10, and it say, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword of destruction. So we're supposed to rise and depart. We can't literally rise and depart out of this place. No matter where we go, the curse is going to follow us. Whether you go to Israel, or you, you know, have other men that's going off, or whether we go to another country, whatever, the curse is still going to be upon us. You know what I'm saying? They say rise and depart out of this place spiritually, man. Stop putting your faith in this place. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to put your labor and your spirit towards the most high. Your Hawabashi Mahashah. Because this place is going to be destroyed. The Lord is going to bring great destruction. So the more goods or, or the faith or everything, anything that you have of this, this, uh, this earth or this world is going to perish soon. You know what I'm saying? Through this pretty Hawabashi Mahashah because it's polluted with wickedness, man. You know what I'm saying? Everything is unfilthy. Everything is unclean. You know, the Lord want to give us righteous and clean things. The Lord is going to give us possessions, things that actually belong to us. Everything here today. Believe it or not, belongs to, to spiritual spiritual Satan, man. The Lord said the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, man. So everything that you have, man, is possessed by the so-called white man, man. You know, and he's he's very filthy and unclean. Whether it's your woman, you know what I'm saying? Whether, you know, money, all this, it doesn't belong to us, man. It's, it's not good for us, man. You know what I'm saying? Through the spirit of God, you know, so, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, so we have to rise and depart. You know, this is, this is not our risk, man. You know, <clears throat> let me get one more scripture. This, um, well, not one more, but uh, this is John 15 and 18. It say, If the world hates you, ye know that it hated me, hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own, but because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. And if you walk straightly and walk in the straight path of this truth, you're going to come against temptation. You know what I'm saying? Demons is going to jump on your loved ones, people that's close to you. You're going to have to, you're going to fight these spiritual demons. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not following the cares and the ways of this world. That's why I say, if you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because we corrected people and we were exposing this world for the wickedness that it is and, and, and produce exposing and telling people to turn from their wickedness, especially our, Israel, our Israelites. Negroes, Latinos, and Hispanics, Afro-Hispanics, you know what I'm saying, they hate of us, man. They hate us because we, we cutting down strongholds. We hate them because we telling them everything that they put their faith in and these doctrines and religions that they that they serve and gods they serve is false gods and lies, man. And it, and it disturbed them, man, you know, because they know we have the truth and they hate of us for it, you know. But um, I'll just jump. Uh, to 1 John chapter 2 and 15 It say love not the world Neither the things that are in the world If any man love the world The love of the Father is not in him So if you love the world The spirit of Yahweh Bashima will shout Heavenly Father Yahweh And the Holy Spirit is not within you Because once again This earth is giving it Giving it to wickedness This place is, is built To go against the most high Homosexuals Transgenders Trannies You know what I'm saying So what is it to love of this world man You know the Lord is going to give us great honor He's going to give us a great reward man you know, and in a in a um in a pretty much serve him. So if you love this world, the spirit of the most high was wasn't in you. So the brothers that was in his truth and went back into the world, you never believed. Or you or you know what I'm saying, the, the heavenly father's spirit was never within you. It say for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not the is not of the father, but is of the world. So 
you know what I'm saying? You know, for all that's in the world, it's not of the heavenly father. This is of the world, man. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, you know, looking at women, looking at, you know what I'm saying, pretty much they, they, uh, what they, what the Lord said, they secret parts, you know what I'm saying, or, 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 or they goodies or whatever, you know what I'm saying, that probably belong to another man, you know, this place is out of order, you know what I'm saying, and it's waxing worse and worse as the days, per, you know, prolong, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, at the end of the day, we're not perfect, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna sin, you're gonna go off in this flesh, but everything in this world is here to destroy us, everything in this world is taking us from Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. But if we do things in order, keep our woman in order, because it is some sin sis sincere sisters that's in this truth, you know what I'm saying, but it's a very few, you know what I'm saying, uh, that the most I may bless brothers with. But other than that, man, this is not the time to necessarily deal with women. This is a time of laboring and working out our salvation, man. You know what I'm saying, doing the things that the Father required. This verse 17, it said the world passeth away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. So the works that we do of the, of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Shah, that is what's going to last forever. That's what really counts, man. You know, the money, the nice cars, the big houses, that shit is going to perish soon, man. And it's not going to profit you in the day of the Lord. Just Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. The renewing of your mind is pretty much uh, repenting, changing your ways, you know, Following law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability, preparing yourself mentally, you know, preparing thy soul for temptation because you come in to serve the Lord. And when you do that, you, you, um, you're not conforming yourself with the world. It say, renew your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect, the will of the Most High. So what is good and acceptable and perfect, the will of the Most High. You know what I'm saying? Waking our people, one third of our people, two thirds is going to be put to death because they love this world. They're actually going to die for this world. You know what I'm saying? You know, because some of them is going to die because they didn't turn back to the most high. They want to celebrate these pagan holidays of this world. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and pretty much the Lord didn't give them that light. He kept them asleep. You know? So that's the will of the most high, man. You know, being perfect is not being being not conforming to this world, being perfect is doing the will of the Most High. How about you, Mama Shot? You know, so like I was saying, we're not perfect. We're gonna go off here and there. You know what I'm saying? But we, it's a beautiful thing and it's a blessing that we have the chance to work out our salvation, man, and pray that our transgressions and sins be blotted out or forgotten, man. This James four and four, ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? You know, and that enmity is it goes back to like a, a fusion or, or pretty much an enemy, basically, man. You know what I'm saying? You, it, you put controversy between you and the Most High. Who's who? Whosoever therefore be a friend of this world is an enemy of the Most High. You know. So if you're a friend of this world, you're an enemy of the Most High. There's no, there's no um, both ways. Now we're not saying that you can't work a job or something because we have to. We're under captivity. You know what I'm saying? But you don't have to celebrate the, these these pagan holidays that go back to false gods and false idols. You know what I'm saying? You know, you don't have to believe in, 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 in these false gods, going to these churches. You know, believe in a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to walk within truth, man. Keep the keep the, the holy days, man. You know what I'm saying? Su suffer your flesh, man, and, and turn and repent from your sins and walk in the law, statutes, commandments to the best of your abilities, man. And I'm mainly speaking to the men of Israel. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, therefore, if you if you're a friend of this world, you're an enemy of the Most High. So when the Lord come and destroy the world, those that love the world is going to be perished with it, man. Thus said the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Rashad. It's Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. It say, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other. And these are words of uh, uh, Yahweh Shah, who wrote ignorant called Jesus Christ, man. Everything that he said was given to the Heavenly Father, man. So we say you can't serve two masters, and two-thirds of our people will some will some will have the zeal, but not according to knowledge, man. they rather serve the Most High into the philosophy of the world, but not into the truth and unto himself. It say, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other, so there's no in-between. You know what I'm saying? It, you, you can't be diplomatic in this truth. You either either you with us or you against us. Either you with the Lord or and against the world and it's that. You can't be like I say, you cannot serve God and Mammon. And Mammon goes to money. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is not dealing with money. You can't pay your way into the kingdom of heaven, man. You can't pay the Lord for him to repent. I mean to forgive you for your sins, man. You know? Because that money is just paper, it's worthless to the to the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Because a lot of people have died for money, but these people want to die for the Lord, man. You know, so why should the Lord uh, be have mercy upon you, man? You know, 
Yahweh Shah didn't die for money, he died for the Lord, man, and that's the man that he's coming to look for, man. The elect that's going to believe and sacrifice everything to be a holy sacrifice on this side for his will. This uh St. John 16 and 33. These things I, I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. So we have peace through the spirit of Yahweh Shah because he gives us all things. He gives us the rich and the poor. He kill up and he, 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 he uh, take away life and he give life, man. You know, so we might have peace because he's our refuge. He's in our corner. He's going to provide us and protect us in that day. And say, in the world, ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. You know what I'm saying? And that's the words of Yahweh Shah. In the world, we're going to have tribulation. We're going to have money problems because the Lord is testing us by taking us out of the world. You know, every since we've been born and come from thy womb, all we knew was the ways of the world. But when you come into the truth, you put off those worldly things. You put away those childish things. You know what I'm saying? And be more for spiritual, man. You know, be, you know, uh, pretty much build your relationship with the most high Yahweh Bashi Mahu Shah in the brotherhood, man. And be under obedience under the men that the Lord set set before you. And say, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So we have to follow the ways and the example that Yahweh Shah set forth because he overcame the world. And we're gonna do the same if we keep patience of his word. You know what I'm saying? Do with the things in the dirt to the end. You know? Um uh, this Philippians, the second chapter, verse 2, second chapter, yeah, in verse 12, wherefore might be loved. You know, that's speaking of the, the elect, the 144,000 and the one third. They say, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, as we have to obey, you know, not as in my presence only, but much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You know what I'm saying? So you, the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of, of, of knowledge and wisdom. And wisdom is to the rise and depart because this place will destroy you, man. So you have to cling on to the most high and build up thy armor, man. And prepare thyself for war, man. Because there's a spiritual and physical war that's coming against the true saints of the most high. How about you know shot? But if you keep faith and walk within the Holy Spirit and within truth, he will protect you. And he will show his power and his glory. And, and, and pretty much bring forth his enemies unto thy feet. It says, so you have to fear the Lord with trembling and fear, man. You have to teach this truth, go on the highways and byways, be a holy sacrifice. Whether it's cold, whether it's rain, you got to do what you got to do. You don't want to have any regrets. You want to fight a good fight for the Most High. For this verse 13, for it is the Most High which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. You know what I'm saying? So, for it is the Most High that worketh in you both to will and to do his good pleasure. Do all things without murmuring and disputing. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta do this through charity. You can't you can't do this. I mean it may be times where you know what I'm saying you may not feel you may not feel like it, but that be a demon on you. You gotta fight that demon off and continue to contend for the faith and make thy proof of thy ministry. You know what I'm saying? So murmuring dispute, not doing it with love, you know what I'm saying? You know, kinda kinda having an attitude when you're doing it or feel like it's a burden to serve the most high. It's verse 15, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of the Most High, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked, perverse nation. And that crooked, perverse nation is the nation of Israel. You know what I'm saying? Because they turn everything righteous into wickedness. Among them, ye shine as lights in the world. So we both shine as lights amongst our people, man. So though the sheep, those that had the light within them, they will be compelled to come back to the Lord. Yahweh Bashima will shine, shine that light as well. You know? Holding forth the word of life, the word of life is these scriptures, man. With truth and sincerity, the, the sweet and the bitter, that I may rejoice in the day of Hamashiach, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. So if you rejoice and when Yahweh shall reign, you know what I'm saying, we're going to reign with them. But, you know what I'm saying, you can't labor in vain. You can't teach this for, for money. You know what I'm saying, you can't expect anything back. You, the Lord gave us to this freely. We must teach it. We must give it freely. You know what I'm saying? The Lord washed our feet, so it's only right that we wash wash another brother's, man, thy neighbors. This verse 17, yeah, and if I be offered unto the sacrifice and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all. For the same, because also do ye joy and rejoice with me. So, you know what I'm saying? We, we fighting the same fight that Yahweh Shah fought, but we doing this for him, as Yahweh Shah did for the Heavenly Father Yahweh. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going to rejoice with him, man. And he's going to rejoice with us, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we contend for the faith and we overcame the world as he did. Following, you know what I'm saying? Having faith in the most high, I will buy Shemar Shah. You know what I'm saying? They're clinging on what's good, and that's the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? So, Lord willing, brothers was edified through the Spirit. You know, I was, you know, I want to say, call the Lord like Yahweh Shah, Shah, Karkadash, Barakadah, you know, 
uh, the Mahanas a great millstone, the salutation to the brother. So, you know, this is volume 12 of spiritual motivation. So, your brother stay spiritual and your brother stay motivated. Shalom.